everyone and today i would like to welcome you to our 2021 um, uh, tombolo multicultural festival cooking class my name is christiana obonyulo i'm the owner and operator of afro kitchen nl is a food business it's a restaurant of its kind in newfoundland and labrador the dishes that we are going to be cooking is um a business soup oh who love a business soup oh my god you need to try this soup Ebuka soup is um, it's one of our main dishes in Africa. I'm so glad to like uh, walk you through the step by step of cooking this uh, delicious soup. Um, the first thing we have here is uh, the melon seed. We are going to be using the melon seed for the whistle soup. We are going to be using some onions. Yeah, we'll be using some red oil which is called palm oil. We are going to be using uh, habanero pepper. Uh, we are going to be using some uh, mango cube. Um, we use uh, some um, crayfish. The crayfish is dry shrimp, uh, shrimp. and we're still going to be using some smoked fish. Oh, I like smoked fish in my egg soup so much. Uh, we have some few salt here. Uh, you can put the salt to taste. And we have uh, spinach. Today I'll be using spinach for the soup. Though you can use uh, any other um, any other green leaf, any other vegetable you like. You can use pumpkin leaf, you can use um, um, bitter leaf. But today I'm going to be using uh, spinach. And uh, the protein, the main protein for the business soup today is uh, goat meat. Though you can use any of the protein you like. You can use uh, beef, you can use uh, chicken. But I'm a lover of goat meat. So today we are going to be using uh, goat meat. So let's get started. Um, first of all, we're going to wash our we see seed, the melon seed. That is good. Okay, let's wash our our ebusi seed, our melon seed. Now that we have washed all the ingredients, mm -hmm. let's wash the the first step now. The first step I put in the blender here. You see the melon seed washed. Um, some of the dry uh, shrimp which is called crayfish and then we have a uh, habanero pepper in here and we have uh, onions so let's start we're gonna blend it smooth before we start uh, frying the ebisi our ebisi is smooth now let's um put our oil on fire I'm gonna fry a little bit of the red oil, the palm oil. Okay, our oil is hot. Oh, we're gonna add our onions and fry it for one second so that the oil, uh, the onions will digest into the oil. Adding my ebisi, my branded ebisi, and this is the branded melon seed, which is the ebisi. I'll add it to the oil and fry it for for five to seven. Our, um, the meat stock. Uh, we've already boiled our meat and we are going to be using the stock to cook uh, the ubisi soup. So this is our meat stock. So I'm adding it. Okay, I'll add my meat. My goat meat. I will add my um, seasoning. We'll be using two cubes of mangi for, for the soup. Okay, I'll add salt and I'll add a little bit of salt. Okay, 
Okay, now we'll cover our pork to cook for uh, like 20 minutes. Okay. Um, our whistle has been cooking for um, for 20 minutes now. And uh, let me test it and see. Mmm, yummy, yummy. So I'm going to put um, my vegetable now, which is the last step of cooking this soup. Put your vegetable. You allow, I like to cook for just two minutes because um, vegetable, uh, we are using spinach. So we are just going to leave it for like two minutes and our whistle will be ready. And the whistle is ready. I'm going to serve some um, so that I can eat it with um, Eba. I'm going to be using Eba for this dish. Mm, this look yummy yummy. Thanks for watching. Um, and if you want more of this uh, Ebusi soup or South African dishes, you can visit our website afrokitchenna.ca or you can follow us on Instagram afrokitchenna. The sea, and again, you can call our number if you have some special requests. Um, 709 And I know you can try it at home. Uh, please bring some for me to test whether if you get a taste of Afro kitchen. Thank you. Mm. This tastes so good. I encourage each and everyone to come to Afro Kitchen to buy products from here. Thank you. Yeah. Good. The, the soup is very easy to cook. Mm -hmm. Okay, are you recording now? Yeah, yeah just, just keep recording. What I you're doing. <laughs>